by Lord Mountbatten as the most courageous and imaginative commando raid of World War II. The Cockleshell heroes were a secret team of Royal Marines from Portsmouth who blew up enemy shipping in France. There's no public memorial to them in Britain, but nearly 70 years after they launched their daring canoe attack, a memorial has today been unveiled near Bordeaux. Well, our reporter Steve Humphrey is live for us in Bordeaux this evening at the memorial. Steve. Yes, Sally, hello from southwestern France. This memorial has been built just a stone's throw from where those Royal Marine Commandos began their mission to attack German shipping just down the river in Bordeaux Harbour. Today, the memorial was unveiled at a very special ceremony on this very spot. And amongst the people who were here were many of the relatives of the commandos who took part in what was known as Operation Frankton back in 1942. Also here was the first Sea Lord and Lord Paddy Ashdown himself, a former Royal Marine. Nearly 70 years on, what happened back in 1942 is still acting as an inspiration to many people. On the banks of the River Hamble, members of the Royal Marine Volunteer Cadet Corps have been recreating a flavour of what happened in December 1942. The cadet unit is based in Portsmouth, the city where the cockle shell heroes trained for their daring mission. Some of the cadets have even canoed down the Gironde River in France to get a sense of what the commandos went through. What the people actually went through was amazing, really. Trying to do it all at night and not being hard. And during, it, during the day was a lot tougher. Obviously, we had to be careful of the tide and things like that. But they just kept going all the way through it. And it's absolutely remarkable. The Cockleshell heroes had to canoe 75 miles through enemy held territory, paddling during the night and hiding during the day. Their objective to blow up German ships in Bordeaux using limpet mines. It was recognised as something that was amazingly brave. Uh, it, was, it was a suicide mission. The chances of getting out were going to be very, very slim. The raiding party became known as the Cockle Shell Heroes because their canoes were officially known as Cockle Mark IIs. They trained for months to prepare for their top secret mission. From South Sea, we used to go round to Langton, Langton Harbour and those places, canoe all the way around and back again at night. Norman Colley is the only man closely involved in the operation who's still alive. He was the reserve team member and he travelled to France on HMS Tuna, the submarine that took the commandos to the mouth of the Gironde River. Very queer feeling when you see them going away and you know there's not much hope. It was a very, very queer feeling altogether. Five canoes set off, but just two made it all the way to the docks in Bordeaux. Using their limpet mines, they caused explosions that damaged five ships. But after the heroism came the sacrifice. Of the 10 Royal Marines involved, two died from hypothermia, while six were captured and executed by the Germans. You expect to be prisoners of war. You don't expect to be shot for something like that. You're in uniform. It didn't work like that. Hitler's orders, commandos had to be shot. The only pair to make it back to Britain were the unit's commander, Major Blondie Hasler, and his canoeing partner, Bill Sparks. In 1983, they placed wreaths at the memorial to the Cockleshell heroes at the Royal Marines base in Poole. In the dark days of 1942, the commando raid had shown people in Britain that the armed forces could strike deep in the heart of occupied Europe. Well, amongst the relatives who were here in France today was Tom Hasler. Now, he's the son of Major Blondie Hasler, who led the raid back in 1942. Well, I think it's a really fitting memorial for all of the people involved in the raid, uh, the canoeists, also the submarine crew, and, of course, all the French people who helped them during the escape. So, very fitting. Great day. Also here today was Jimmy Sparks. He's the brother of Commando Bill Sparks. It's very, very emotional and at the same time, you know, everybody's happy and to think that all these people have turned out and with this memorial, you know, I mean, it's, what can you say about it? It's absolutely fantastic. 
Well, this memorial has been built of stone from Portland in Dorset. It's cost about £100,000. It is a fitting memorial to the cockle shell heroes. From France, back to you in the studio. Indeed it is. Steve, thank you very much.